Hi guys, Mark here with Walters World. We're in Cancun, Mexico in front of the Moon Palace Golf and Spa Resort, an all-inclusive hotel. There's tons of these here in Cancun. There's a lot of them around the world and they're becoming more and more popular. But for first timers, a lot of them don't know the rules and how these things work. I know I had problems. So what I have here is basically 17 things that you should know before you come to an all-inclusive so you can have the best time possible because honestly they are a pretty good value. Lots of times and they are a lot of fun and you but it's a different kind of thing. Anyway, the first thing you need to know is, guys, you need to do your research beforehand because all-inclusives are a lot of times tailored to different groups. Maybe they're for singles, or they're for families, or they're for adults only, or senior citizens. There's all kinds of stuff out there, so do your research beforehand to see what the resort has on offer for you and what you wanna do. Also, when you're looking up and you're doing your research, make sure you read the reviews and also know what time of the year should you go or shouldn't you go? Because if you show up here in Cancun in March, you think, oh nice weather people are in school we can bring the young kids no that's when spring break is here and it's packed with college kids drunk doing all kinds of crazy stuff so you want to do those things okay so do your research beforehand the second thing you need to know is all-inclusive can be a misnomer because sometimes you don't get everything like a, a real all-inclusive has breakfast lunch dinner drinks everything's included transportation to and from the airport all this stuff but you need it when you do that research check to make sure it is full pension you know is it giving you all the meals or is it just dinner or lunch. Also, if you're going to do the spa treatments or the golf, a lot of times those are extra and the tours, that's extra. You have to pay for all those extra things. But like the beer and the wine and the sangria and all those things, they're usually included in it, so don't worry. But make sure you check to make sure because not everything is all inclusive, like a hairbrush or maybe a sunblock or stuff like that because they do charge a lot for that. But I'll talk about that later. Okay. Now, the third thing you should know is you see this thing on my wrist, this wristband, this is your new god i guess because if you don't have this this is the thing that lets you get into the restaurants lets you get in the bars they give you your food they give you your drinks they give you all this stuff and if you lose it guys you can have some pretty hefty fines so i've heard of some hotels and some all inclusive they're charging up to 75 dollars 100 dollars a day if you lose this because think about it if someone else has it they get to come in use all the facilities eat drink and be merry on the resort's dime so don't lose this if you do you're going to pay a buttload out of it because it can be like i said $75 per day you have left so be careful and also when you check out a lot of times you have to turn these in as well so just make sure remember this little wristband is your new little, like little god okay the fourth thing you should know is guys the service here is really great but if you're not sure how things work ask questions from the concierge or to the cleaning lady people are very friendly and helpful at these all-inclusive resorts so make sure you ask like the first time I was going to these I don't know how do I get a bottle of wine in my room how do I get breakfast in my room these days I didn't know so I talked to the people and they were very helpful and helped out but you got to ask questions because it's kind of like um, these all-inclusive it's like a cult because a lot of people already know the system and so they're already coming here doing these things they already know what to do and if it's your first time you don't so if you're not sure ask when you check in have them go through the basics of it like when do I go when can I eat where should I go how do I get the drinks we get room service all the, how do I set up tours ask those questions it'll make a big difference and that that'll clear up a lot of the problems you do have when you come now the fifth thing you should know is the food is bland. Guys, I'm here in Cancun and it's basically American food or Asian food or there's all kinds of other stuff, but not Mexican food. And when you go these all-inclusives, they kind of bland everything down. Think bigger, blander. Okay, so you're having french fries and hamburgers and all these things. Now, what I recommend you do is usually they'll have like a local restaurant in these and ask your waiter, hey, what's the local dish? Because I know here at the Moon Palace, they do actually have the traditional dishes of Yucatan, but you got to ask them, which one is that? So you can go up and order that one special or go on the buffet and check those things out. Okay, now another thing for number six is when you're looking at this all-inclusive thing, you also want to know about tipping. Is the tipping included? Because some places it's not, especially if you're going all-inclusive on a cruise ship those kind of things the tipping a lot of times is not included so you have to pay them extra on the side here we're at now tipping is included i tried to tip a guy he just gave my money back was insulted no no i already get paid you know so make sure you find out these little things is it a tipping all-inclusive or a non-tipping all-inclusive number seven all-inclusives are cashless you've got this this pays for your lunch your dinner and everything else so make sure you know your room number and have your wristband on that takes care of everything but if you've got to buy sunblock which is overpriced or bugs for a t-shirt or whatever a lot of times you can either put that towards your all-inclusive credit 
or you're paying with your credit card. So make sure you have a credit card so know your PIN number when you come. Because if you have a credit card, a lot of people don't know the PIN number. They think they just signed. Well, it can be both ways. Sometimes you sign, sometimes you need a PIN. So make sure you have a PIN number just in case. Number eight on our list is take notes of the opening and closing times for the swimming pool, for the spa, for the gym, for the restaurants. So you know, can I go swimming at six in the morning? Well, no, it opens at seven. Can I get breakfast, an early breakfast at five? No, those aren't until 6.30. Check these things out and it might be, oh, well, this one restaurant out of our 15 is open for early bird breakfast. So check the times out because if your family's used to eating at five o'clock, well, maybe that's when they're switching between the lunch and dinner buffet. So from four to six, there's no food. Number nine, your room will be fine. They have lots of people coming through, but expect lots of people to be going through. So don't leave your valuables out. I'm not going to say anybody's going to steal anything, but don't leave your valuables out. You know, your underwear and stuff like that. Guys, you're going to have someone come and drop off your food. Someone come and pick up your food. You have someone come and pick up the towels, leave you new towels, come clean your room, turn down service or the chocolate by your bed service as I like to call it. And sometimes they come by and take your order for breakfast the next day. So just know that there's going to be a lot of people passing by your room. So be smart with your stuff. Don't have it out. Use the uh, safe in the room if they have it or hide your stuff. So just make sure you have that because there are a lot of people going through it. And I'm not going to say anything bad is going to happen, but it's better to be safe than sorry. And also gives you a reason maybe not to lay around naked all the time because people do come through quite often. So after you have your fun times and you're laying there in the sun, I'm just so tired. At least get a towel on you just in case someone shows up. So number 10 on our list, we're going back to our wristbands. Here what you have is called sectioning, whereas certain color wristbands get to go and do certain kind of things. So that's why they'll say, oh, if you want to upgrade to the VIP place, you get a black wristband or a clear wristband or something like that. So just know that there are certain parts that even if it's an all-inclusive, if you got the cheapest version, there might be restaurants you can't go to, bars you can't go to, things like that. And going along with the sectioning, remember when you come to all-inclusives, it's not just, you know, wearing your Speedos and a tank top. Sometimes they do have dress coats, pants, long sleeve shirt and collar. So make sure you bring at least one nice outfit to go out to dinner in because a lot of them will say no no shirt, you know, shirts and shoes that's fine, but you gotta have some pants too. So watch out for that one. Number 11, there's gonna be tons of people here in terms of visitors, but also people working here. And you'll see people everywhere. So say hi to people. And what I've found is the best way to get to know the locals here is to talk to the workers here because in the all-inclusive, it's mostly foreigners, not locals that are here. So you don't get really in touch with the culture, which goes into the five things you love and hate about all-inclusives, another video you should probably watch. And so when you have the service staff, just know all those people coming by, it is your chance to get to know people, ask questions, what should I see? what should I do what should I eat so take advantage of that but just know there is a lot of service personnel and they're all here to help and they usually speak English and they're very helpful and all kinds of stuff like that number 12 pack some of your basic uh, beauty supplies and health supplies because guys your aspirins and your sunblock and stuff like that that is not included in the price of the all-inclusive so you got to go to the shop to buy it because your all-inclusive is usually pretty far away from town so you're gonna have to use their shop so that three or four dollar bottle of sunblock for your kid is $27 at you know the gift shop here so be prepared have those things out there if you're like well I can get bug spray there or sunblock that you know what if you have a check bag put it in there because you'll save yourself the money because think about it sunblock 27 bug spray 23 well shoot that's 50 bucks right there that's paying for another a piece of luggage to go under you might as well have that so you have some more stuff more options number 13 guys you don't have to eat and drink everything I know it's all inclusive but guys you don't got to think oh I've got to drink the bar out I've got to eat the full buffet guys you'll feel miserable afterwards the hangovers and all these things so please drink and eat responsibly I know it's silly for me to say eat responsibly but guys just be careful because you can overdo it and then spend a whole day you know having tummy trouble or feeling horrible it's not really good it doesn't help your vacation so remember you don't have to eat and drink everything though you can if you really want to number 14 on our list remember you get what you pay for if you go for a cheap all-inclusive well you know what you might be getting you know one waiter not serving alcohol very often or watered down sangria instead of nice beers and real alcohol in your drinks so be careful with that so remember you get what you pay for so you pay less, you're going to get less. You pay more, you're going to get more with activities and helpfulness and all kinds of stuff. Number 15, don't forget your airport connections. A lot of the hotels do have airport connections, but make sure you do the reservations beforehand. If you're going to be going there, contact them. Hey, what's your, what, how do I get the, the uh, connection from the airport? A lot of times they'll have you sign up for something so people will be waiting for you. Maybe they have a sign up with the resort's name on it or your conference or, or your name. But make sure you check in with them because why pay the 20 bucks for a taxi if they already have a free 
free service going back and forth and make sure you schedule that one going back to the airport as well just in case. Number 16, to avoid confusion at checkout, bring a printout of your itinerary or a printout of your confirmation of your reservation so you can go there and say, look, I have a room that says Seaside View and I don't have a Seaside. It says it's full pension. I'm only going in half. So you can show them you're saying, so you have the proof because you know what? You might not get your internet connection. It might have got deleted somehow or they don't take it. Make sure you have that printout so you have that backup, okay? And number 17, I'm going to say it again, guys. Bring your sunblock and your bug spray because the prices here are insane for those things that these all-inclusives. So just make sure you have that. So I hope that helps you get ready for an all-inclusive trip. They are fun, you know, laying on the beach and drinking and hitting the pools and learning how to surf. I mean, it is a really cool time and it's fun for the whole family from grandma to grandkids. So I hope you have a good time at the all-inclusive. If you want to learn more, five things you love and hate about all-inclusives, five things you love and hate about visiting Mexico, check us out at our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter and Facebook and we hope to see you there. Bye from Cancun, Mexico.